I'm Yanelli, also known as Miss Be Helpful, with another FinCap Friday brought to you by NGPF. The U.S. Department of Education has recently announced that the FAFSA for the 2025-2026 academic school year will be fully available by December 1st, 2024. This marks the second consecutive year of delays from the traditional date of October 1st, which is when the FAFSA is typically released. The FAFSA, or Free Application for Federal Student Aid, is a form that collects details about students and the adults who provide for them financially. And those details get used to apply for financial aid, including student loans, work study, and grants provided by the federal government, state governments, and colleges or universities. The FAFSA Simplification Act has led to significant changes, including a shorter form with less questions and a new student aid index or SAI, which replaces the expected family contribution or EFC. Additionally, Pell Grant eligibility has been expanded to include even more low-income students. But this delayed FAFSA rollout has significantly impacted college decision deadlines. Many colleges are going to have to push back their commitment deadlines, which traditionally have been set for May 1st, but will now have to be in June or later in order to accommodate this delay in financial aid offers which are now expected to be distributed in April or later. This extension aims to give students, particularly those from underserved communities who rely heavily on financial aid information, more time to make informed decisions and compare their offers. Some institutions are also offering flexibility on a case-by-case -case basis. But this delay poses challenges for students and colleges and universities alike, especially when it comes to planning and allocating resources. The updated FAFSA in 2023 was only available for limited windows of time because the U.S. Department of Education had to continue to resolve minor issues and then release it again. Those issues included glitches, prolonged processing times, and delays in sending application information over to schools. Some families even reported that colleges and universities had names that were not fully displayed on the screen, which made it difficult for them to know which schools to select. Some students reported being blocked from completing the application after the first few sections. And some parents reported that they couldn't even enter their personal information into the FAFSA form. Experts say not to get discouraged. Despite some difficulties with the FAFSA from 2023, 2024, and into 2025, persist in getting it completed. And especially if you need help, go seek the help to complete the FAFSA. Because getting financial aid can make a big difference in how much money you and your family end up paying for you to attend college.